G'day everyone, it's Angela Remora here, your favorite Australian and the real estate dingo, bringing you a blog that, you know what? It's one of my best blogs that I've ever done. I guarantee you this. So make sure that you are listening to me very clearly. Clean your ears out, get the cotton earbuds, make sure there's no earwax in there, and tell your kids to be quiet. Because I'm serious, this is a very, very important blog. Guys, today I'm talking to you about how I negotiated and bought over 400 properties. That's right, 400 properties. And this is one of the first strategies that I ever learned um, when I started my journey as a real estate investor and an entrepreneur. And it was taught to me by my mentor who now has a $150 million business back home in Australia, okay? So stay tuned, clean your ears, tell your kids to be quiet, and let's get this blog on the way. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Real estate is a numbers game. You have to commit to the numbers every single day, meaning you have to commit to working long hours. You have to commit to sending emails. You have to commit to making phone calls. You have to commit to shaking hands and kissing babies like a bloody president. Well, okay, you don't really have to do that, but you have to commit to shaking hands and meeting a lot of people. And last but not least, guys, you have to commit to submitting offers on a daily basis. Now, what I'm about to tell you anyone can do, and I mean absolutely anyone, you just have to have some thick skin, okay? Because some of the replies you're gonna get aren't going to be the most pleasurable. So guys, look, the strategy consists of one phrase, and it goes like this. The more mud you throw on the wall, eventually some will stick. Let me repeat that. The more mud you throw on the wall, eventually some will stick. I have literally bought over 400 properties implementing this strategy and my team is implementing the exact same strategy, buying a ton of properties for my operations right now. So what it consists of guys, it consists of scouring your local market, becoming an expert in whatever market you are based in right now or whatever market you want to be investing in. You have to have an understanding of what properties are selling for there. Renovated properties, unrenovated properties, foreclosures, sheriff sale, I mean, you name it, you have to keep your finger on the pulse and you have to know what the hell is going on in that market. So that would be the first step. Then the second step is quite simple. I just said it, you have to commit to the numbers. Guys, you are going to have to submit offers every single day and you're going to have to submit a ton of offers every single day on a ton of properties. Now, this is what I want you to do, and this is where it gets a little bit interesting, okay? So stay tuned. Let's just say hypothetically that a property is selling for $10, okay? You're going to go in there, and you're going to offer a cash offer, quick close, and it's going to be for $5, okay? I know you probably think I'm crazy. Just do it. Trust me. Do it. Out of 100 times of you doing this, you are going to get pushback and negative replies 99 times out of 100, the seller is going to call you mad, the realtor is going to say you're wasting his time, and God knows what other responses you're going to get. Please, guys, have thick skin, professionally diffuse the situation, respond diplomatically, and just blame it on your Australian accent. Well, actually, no, you can't do that. I can do that. Just blame it on you being a new investor and not really knowing that market that well, and you can get away with using that excuse. So 99 times out of 100 guys, you are going to get negative feedback. That one time, there's gonna be a motivated seller, a desperate seller that needs to cash out. He will be willing to play ball. So he's going to recounter your $5 offer at let's say seven or eight. You know that you're gonna get that deal for around six or seven bucks. You're gonna to have to put another 10 to 20 into it because most of the time these properties are going to be unrenovated. And then what's gonna happen is you're going to list it on the market and you're gonna sell it for anywhere from 13 to $15. So let's just use that in thousands. A $100,000 property, you're going to offer 50 grand, the seller's going to counter with 80, you're probably gonna buy it for between 60 to 70, you're gonna put 10 to $20,000 into it, meaning you're going to be into that property for a total of $80,000 and you're probably gonna be able to sell it for between 130 to $150,000 walking away with a very, very nice profit. 
I'm quoting these numbers because I know them to be true. The more mud you throw on the wall, eventually some will stick. The biggest mistake that I made was not being patient enough, not submitting enough offers, not waiting for that right deal to come along at the right price. I was buying properties just for the purpose of buying them. Guys, every property matters. Every property has to get you a step closer to where you need to be. These properties are going to put money in your pocket, which is going to fuel further negotiations, further expansion, further flips. I'm doing 10 deals a month right now. When I started, I was doing only one, okay? So it's very important that if you really wanna buy bargains, you're gonna to have to implement this strategy. My sincere apologies to all of the realtors out there. They're gonna hate you for it because they're gonna think that they're wasting time, which they kind of are. But ultimately, guys, if you can find a realtor that will understand the strategy and what you're looking at doing, and it's just gonna come down to submitting the offers every single day, guys. I'm telling you right now, I've got realtors doing this for me and for my companies, and they will still get two to three, if not more sales per month, per month, guys, implementing this exact same strategy. Let me end it with this. I'm gonna reiterate what I said before. Real estate is a numbers game. Commit to the hours, commit to the emails, commit to the phone calls, commit to working hard, commit to submitting offers every single day, low ball offers, throw that mud, eventually some will stick, have thick skin, be professional, be patient, and I'm sure that eventually you will succeed. So that concludes my blog for today. Any questions, comment below. Any critique, comment below. Any suggestions, comment below. I really wanna know what strategies you guys are implementing to buy, to buy your properties. How do you go about submitting offers? How many offers you submit? Guys, I'm all ears. Well, actually, I'm all eyes. So please comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Um, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. I'm Angela Ramora. I'm your favorite Australian and the real estate dingo. You guys have a great day.